occur occurs means to run concurrent concurrent con plus current two things that are running parallelly those are concurrent things concurrent events current current is what that is running now current scenario current times please notice the difference between current with e and current with a current current with a this is a dried grape this is a dry fruit black current ice cream you would have tried it right black current ice cream means it's a dry fruit it is not current please notice the difference with a or with e cursory cursory is to do things without giving and without giving enough attention to detail that is you are done doing it very quickly you are running through the things that is cursory cursory look cursory reading that means you are not reading it fully reading with reading it with attention that is cursory discursive discursive is running from one to another very fast without giving again enough detail gone hastily to and fro the discursive novel that means a novel which is going here and there discursive movie a movie that is touching on multiple topics are not very clear it is not giving enough attention enough detail it is just touching up on multiple aspects precursor that is something that is running before the current one a person or thing that comes before something similar for example a string dish instrument that was the precursor of guitar that means it was a string instrument from which guitar was derived precursor means something that was running before ped ped is foot pedal pedal bicycle pedal with which on which we put the feet and we ride the bicycle that is pedal pedestal it is the base of an obstacle base of a structure what does that mean it is a foot of a structure pedestal pedicure curious care caring for the feet that is pedicure manicure caring for the nails and hands that is manicure pedicure manicure pedigree pedigree is actually a person's history or an animal's family history especially when the history is actually good knowledge of an official record of animals when when dogs are bred then they keep record of the breed from which it was created what was the original breed so they keep that record that is pedigree pedigree is also you would have seen uh, this dog food brand pedigree which sells dog food that is based on this word again for a person also if a person particularly is coming from a good background good educational background or good a uh, very wealthy background or very aristocratic aristocratic background that means it is of good pedigree she is proud of her long pedigree but now this pedigree what it has got to do with ped ped we discussed it is about feet what has it, what has got a person's family history to do with feet the reason is when people were drawing family histories they realized long long ago they realized the family histories are more like trees right family history branches trees how do you draw family histories it looks like tree structures and they felt cranes this is a cranes legs cranes feet they they look like tree structures so pedigree means cranes feet when you are drawing family structures it looks like family trees which are looking similar to cranes feet that's why they call it pedigree impediment means obstruction that is when you are tying someone's feet it is obstruction not letting someone move forward something move forward that is impediment the obvious way of doing that is holding or tying the feet that is what impediment is pedestrian you all know this it is going on the foot on on foot there is this pedestrian who is not going on any vehicle the person is going on foot that person is called pedestrian another meaning for this word is 
without any imagination it is very dull pedestrian writing pedestrian movie means it is dull it is not imaginative it is it doesn't have any excitement what has ped again to do with this meaning no excitement or dull because historically the people who were going by walk who are going on foot are seen at the dull people as dull people is because they are not going over going in chariots or going over going over uh, horses etc so they felt just walking is actually very dull because they are not going on horses they are not riding they are not knights knight means people who are going on horses because they don't look like heroes if someone is riding a horse he looks like a hero so pedestrian that's why it has come to be, has got this meaning also which is dull and no excitement flecked flecked means bend deflect that means you are deflecting something you are bending something it something is going in some direction you are bending it and bending it and taking it in another direction reflect reflect reflection of light what does this mean reflect is to again to bend to give it to a different direction a mirror reflects the light it sends it in a different direction reflective 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 surface is again reflection of light or which directs the light in another direction in terms of thinking reflective thinking is someone who thinks from all directions who thinks very deeply about things so Christ, socrates is an is an example who thinks in multiple directions or in multiple ways who thinks very deeply that that thing is reflective genuflect genuflect means genu is knees and flex is bending bending the knees it is kind of someone bending their knees in as a mark of respect like bending in a church bending in front, bending in front of a royal emperor or in front of some superior that is kneeling on and bending inflection inflection is change in the form of words for example lot of words lot of verbs change run ran run etc this is a grammar in grammatical uses inflection means change of words as per the situation onto into different forms that is inflection post post means after anti means before post means back anti means front posterior side means it is a back side posterior injury posterior problems these are back side problems back side back ache etc anterior means front side antedate that means a date that is before the current date antedate letter that means a letter is written today but you put a date which is before today's date antebellum we discussed in the beginning bellum is war bellona is the goddess of war this is before war the life existing before war anti meridian meridian is known before meridian posthumous after death posthumous any award given after death is posthumous award any fame that someone has got after death is posthumous fame lot of awards you see even bharat ratna awards also they are given posthumously lot of people lot of awards are given van hog van gogh is a very great painter but all the fame he has got posthumously only during his time he is not able to sell his paintings post mortem this is done after the death after the after the death mort mortal mort mar you can see mor is about death mar is about death in sanskrit also it is the same source rigor mortis this is the procedure which is done as part of post mortem this is to understand how much time it has passed since the death has occurred rigor mortis the body stiffens right when 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 someone is dead the body stiffens with time so how much the body is stiffened basis that they decide how much time it has happened since the death that is rigor mortis 
anti-chamber, a chamber leading to another chamber. So the chamber before the main chamber, let's say, that is anti-chamber. Antecedent means something that is existing before. A thing or event that exists or comes before another, which is generally leading to the next one. Antecedent has got importance in grammar also. What is an antecedent? Antecedent, for example, pronoun. Pronoun refers to some antecedent. Rama is a good boy. He is studying class 6. He refers to Rama. He, Rama is an antecedent to he. This is the pronoun that is referring to the noun. The noun which is being referred is called antecedent. Basic principle of clear writing is to keep your antecedents clear. You need to be very clear. Well, especially when you, especially when you are using pronouns. Take this example. Sita helps Gita, but she doesn't appreciate. This is a bad way. Because he or she, is it referring to Sita or Gita? We don't know. So this is not the correct way of writing things. Antecedents is used in other places also. Not just in grammar. Antecedents of heart disease. For example, smoking, drinking. That is antecedents of heart disease. Antecedents of world war. Whatever things different countries have done before the world war. That is antecedents of world war. Hope you understood these words. Let's learn more words in the next video.